Homeless Awareness Outreach event will be held tomorrow. It's an annual event hosted by the Guam Homeless Coalition. The Guam Housing and Urban Renewal Authority is also involved, as well as several private sponsors. Joining me in studio to tell us more about the Guam Homeless Coalition is that organization's chairperson, Shelly Cavill, as well as the secretary, Lou Hong Yi. Ladies, safa day, and thank you for being with thank us you. here tonight. Have a day, thank you. All right, very nice to be with you. So what exactly is the Guam Homeless Coalition? Simple question. Simple? Okay, the Guam Homeless Coalition, the, our goal is to end homelessness is the same as President Obama's goal mm -hmm. to end homelessness and how do you how do we end homelessness is to provide the permanent housing you know it's a very simple question very, very, simple. very complex answer I would think yeah so. it is okay yeah. so Shelly how many homeless people are there on island right now uh, after the point in time count that we actually conducted in January we actually have roughly number of 1800 so um, only about 248 among that uh, final count actually are in their emergency shelter. So the rest, they're, they're in, um, uh, they're homeless around and uh, not in, a, so they're in substandard uh, living conditions. Now so. that's pretty remarkable, I would think, because last year, you know, we reported and, you know, the community's reaction was one I would say of awe, we said because last year we, Guam actually broke a thousand mm -hmm. homeless mm -hmm. residents and everything. And do you guys have any um, reasoning or justification based on your knowledge, you know, like why the number has gone up? Is it people coming from off island or? I would say that uh, a part of that would be unemployment. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people lost their jobs from last year due to our economic uh, situation right now. Mm -hmm. And I would say that, you know, it, 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 it happens. It's a ripple effect, you know. People with mortgages and, and that you lose your job, then you won't be able to, to pay mortgage and you just end up uh, being um, out there in the streets. And, mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, unfortunately, you know, we, we can only help uh, so much people with, uh, with the agencies that we have here on Guam. Mm -hmm. and. Um, um, I wish we could help everybody, True. you know, yeah. mm -hmm. and and that's why we are trying to reach out to the private sector as well, to to come and help us and join us and come together with us and uh, assist us with our uh, costs here and um, and uh, we need support, especially with sponsors and everything, to actually uh, promote further this program. Mm -hmm. So it's about 10% of the people right now are only in the emergency shelters, and that, that too is pretty startling. I so, would say so. Okay, so Lou, of course, um, you know, there are several organizations on island right now which exist to care for people that don't have permanent homes. But as mm -hmm. you said, you know, your organization and uh, what the two of you strive for is to rectify the situation mm -hmm. and get these people in homes. Mm -hmm. How do you do that, succinctly stated? Well, basically, we get funding from um, HUD, you know, mm -hmm. and... Um, with that funding, it, it helps us with our programs. Like Salvation Army, we have the Lighthouse Recovery Center, and we, you know, we have men that come in that are homeless. Um, we have also Catholic Social Services. They're all part of the coalition. You know, Salvation Army is part of the coalition. Uh, Catholic Social Services, we have Oasis. Catholic Social Services, they have the Lihing, mm -hmm. and um, they also have the Guma San Jose. Guma Mami. You know, Guma, Ma mm -hmm. Guma Mami, there's Veterans another Guma Affair. Mami. Yeah. Yeah, we've, you know, we're all partnered together and try to f figure out how we can help the mm -hmm. community solve the problem. Now, and obviously, it, it goes without saying that the one thing that your organization and the others need are people to volunteer and help out with their time and everything. How can people contact you guys? Are there web resources and, you know, phone numbers and stuff like that that you wish to pass along? Well, for this cause that we have, this event that we have, we have more than enough volunteers. Yes. And it was, we yeah. were okay. so grateful Good. that we've... You know, there are agencies out there that are helping us, private businesses that help us volunteer, and then they give also. Um, Guam Community yeah. College yeah, uh, Guam provided Community 50 College. students. Yeah. Outstanding. Yes. Okay, so yeah. what exactly is going to go on at the fourth annual Homeless Awareness Outreach event? I'll let Shelly answer That's that. That's going to be <laughs> tomorrow, and so what we're, um, this is actually an, um, to give access to uh, homeless individuals and families to, um, medical, uh, not, um, like uh, vital checkups, uh, immunization. We also have um, uh, information there that are available for them about housing, employment, legal services, uh, mental services. Uh, there's also going to be free haircut and we're also going to provide food and beverage. Mm -hmm. And once they complete everything, um, we're all they're they're going to go home with a, a, a bag 
filled with um, hygiene products and uh, canned goods, uh, shirts, mm. and all those stuff. Um, it will run from 9 o'clock in the morning up until 3 p.m. Uh, we actually extended the hours this year because we're actually expecting about 400 individuals to participate um, uh, with us. It's going to be in the Tamuning Gym tomorrow. So um, it should be an exciting um, event and uh, um, everybody is, uh, we got a lot of support from a lot of uh, individuals, not just to volunteer, but also um, to do uh, provide services and to sponsor to sponsor the food, the things, and everything else. Okay, we'll tell you what, we gotta go to commercial break, but thank you so much for what you did, and we'll see you there tomorrow. Thank, thank you, thank you so 